my first experiences with plein air painting were a lot of fun. Uh, just being out in nature, feeling the breeze and the sun, hearing all the wildlife. It's just really an awesome experience capturing all that in a painting. But after going out a few times, just like anything else, it can become a chore. Uh, packing up so many supplies, lugging it around, and then once you get to your location, unpacking all of it, just to paint this small painting, capture this moment, and then repacking all of it up and driving home. I've realized it's kind of like going to the gym. When you first start going, you're really motivated and inspired to keep going. And then after a week or two, the newness just wears off and you find it really hard to stay motivated to even get in your car or get ready to go to the gym. But once you do go to the gym again, you realize that it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's kind of the same with plain air painting. So I've decided to make a supply list and give a few tips from my own experiences that will help you simplify your own plain air outing. One of the first things you should do is to set your intention. Determine why you're going out to paint. Is it strictly for fun? Are you going to capture small studies for larger paintings in the future? There are many possible reasons, and this step is really important, so be sure not to skip it. It's important to bring only what you need to capture the scene. This way it makes it less of a hassle to do plein air painting. Sometimes it can be difficult finding a spot to set up for a painting, and you might spend a few miles walking around, so you definitely don't want to bring a ton of stuff if you're in that situation. Here's a list of what I usually bring. A backpack to carry all my supplies, a small container or cup with paint thinner, the view catcher for a composition, paints, three brushes at the most, some rags or a few paper towels, a large plastic bag to hold all of my smaller items, a few small canvas panels to paint on, a wet panel carrier to carry all the wet paintings back to the studio, a pochade box, a tripod, and some water and a small snack. All of these items will easily fit into the backpack that I have. I usually put my larger items in first. Brushes usually go in their own pockets so they don't get damaged. Paints, rags, and other smaller items go in the same bag and same pocket for convenience. This way I know where everything is when I go to unpack and it makes packing for future trips much easier. And once I'm all packed up, I head out and I take advantage of the day. If your budget allows, buy a set of materials that you use for only plein air painting. A few small paint tubes, brushes, and panels. By doing this, you can always have your stuff packed up and ready to go in case a situation arises where you need to get out fast and capture the scene. So I hope you found this video helpful. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you pack when you go plein air painting. And uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to see future episodes. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Peace, my friends.